Now, most of you who have been to job interviews in your life will likely have been faced with one of those bloody awkward questions where you have to tell a story about a time you showed courage, a time you rose above the rest to take charge of a situation, or a time you were called upon to come out of your comfort zone and show some kind of leadership skill. In most cases, I would bet that every one of us who has had to complete that part of a job application has spiced it up a little bit, maybe bulked it out of touch with a few additional extras. After all, we're going up against others who also want the job. But I would also bet that most of you actually record an incident that did occur and actually happened and all you needed to do was jazz it up a bit. I mean, how embarrassing would it be for you if other people found out you had completely lied? I know. Let's ask Metropolitan Police Sergeant Sarah Srivastava, who applied for promotion to the Serious Organised Crime Unit. Apparently, Srivastava had a 27-year service record that was unblemished. Now, was it unblemished because she was an excellent police officer or unblemished because she hadn't been caught yet? We don't know. Well, last week, Srivastava faced a misconduct hearing where she was found guilty of gross misconduct for lying during her interview for the Serious Organised Crime Unit. When asked for an example of how you considered a range of values and needs when making a decision to affect a group of people, Srivastava allegedly panicked and claimed that she had challenged a colleague who had made a transphobic remark to another officer and then got them to apologise. You know, as opposed to actually being honest about what happened. I mean, police really don't seem to have the same moral dilemma as the rest of us, do they? But telling a lie, they seem to be able to switch it on and off without a second thought. However, Sergeant Sarah Stravastava came unstuck after the detective inspector who was conducting the interviews decided to turn up at her police station in order to speak to the trans person who she made up, I mean mentioned, in her interview. She then tried to stop the detective inspector from escalating the case and confessed she had slightly embellished the tale during interview by embellishing almost every fact of the story. I mean, completely lying about every aspect of the story which she did later admit to doing. After being caught out in her lies and facing her misconduct hearing, Sergeant Sarah Srivastava was given a final written warning for bringing discredits to the police service and for undermining public confidence in the force. The panel found that Srivastava had breached three standards of professional behaviour and was guilty of gross misconduct. Srivastava said that she regrets lying and that it was silly. I just got caught up in the moment. Now I have no idea how long the final written warning will stay on her file, but I ask myself this, how many times has she embellished a police report or witness statement? It seems clear to me that if she can happily lie to further her career within the police force, then lying over police reports wouldn't be much of a push for her. As much as it could cause a lot of hard work for somebody, I would never be able to trust someone who's lied blatantly like that and would have to question everything they have ever said in the past, which would mean going through her previous arrests. I don't know about you guys, but if somebody can tell lies so easily like this to get ahead, I just don't think they can be trusted again. And that would, in my opinion, cause severe issues for if she ever had to go to court as a witness. <laughs> but what do I know? I'm not a legally qualified chair that uh, gives these people chance after chance, am I? Because they certainly wouldn't fucking get one with me.